because that's I what you said we were going to do, I right? I really <laughs> don't want to do this, but you need to know everyone out in the West know. End or people going to the West, you need to know or this. Or even if you ever use Spadina. I'm not kidding. Oh, Spadina, To attach yeah. onto. Oh, that's yes. a whole nother thing. Hi, Sid, first of all. Mary Hi, good morning. Shah, good morning. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Yes, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. <laughs> um, Look, I saw this yesterday and I just I threw up in my mouth a little bit because I'd forgotten this project was happening, but it's coming back, especially after the gardener was uploaded to the Ford uh, provincial government. But listen, things the one side of this is the gardener needs to be fixed because if it breaks, then we're in a real jam. So if you'll remember, there was a six phase operation to repair the gardener. Phase one happened. Everyone hated it so much. The city of Toronto said we're not doing phase two for a bit. Well, guess what? Phase two is coming back possibly as soon as next month. It's going to be reduced to two lanes, both directions, between Dufferin and Strong. Sorry, say that again, Sid. The gardener <laughs> will be reduced to two lanes in both directions between Dufferin and Strong. Now, I know what you're thinking, this is bad news, but keep in mind, this will only last till 2027. Come on! I'm Come not kidding. Come on! 2027 one of the worst stretches of traffic road in North America goes from three lanes to two. In both directions. Both directions. Between now and 2027. So if you have plans between now and 2027. Or if you want to throw like a World Cup. Oh. <laughs> between here's the, now and 2027. Here's the rub. And I'm not making this up. For two weeks, during the 2026 World Cup of Soccer in this city, they're going back to three lanes. For, for the Mundial, the World <laughs> Cup, the world arriving in Toronto. So for the lanes world not open. to open it up, yeah. because we don't want the world to say this sucks. Mm -hmm. We want just us to say that. Yeah, we don't want English soccer fans coming in and going, what's the deal no, with this is a bad around English soccer the, the dinner party, dinner table only. So anyway, and also, as Tammy justifiably reminded the team earlier today, you have this thing on the gardener coming up next month, along with parts of King Street in the West End shutting down this Sunday to replace water mains and streetcar tracks that's going to continue throughout the year. Throughout the year. It's like you're doing a Seinfeld impression of delivering this news to But people. it has to happen, right? It ha Look, like, it does have to happen, and there's safety involved, and there has been time where it hasn't happened, and now sort of the buck stops here. Yes. What I really hope and pray for is that we don't drive by those lanes that are being worked on and they're not being worked on. Oh, Do you will, know what I'm saying? That will happen all the you time. You know when you're driving along and there's, there's lanes fully closed, closed, and clothed. <laughs> Hopefully everyone has their clothes on. Uh, and there's no work being done. I think we need to make this happen, but we need to we need to go for it. Let's, I don't know, 24-7 it? Is if, that possible? Well, if, if memory Noise serves, solution? If what, memory how do we do serves, this? Tam, like for Tam, under, under Mayor Ford, they expedited that, right? Like they paid for some overtime to get it done quickly, yes, right? Yes, they did. So they had, they, they had it done. They did late night work as well. They mm. did extend it okay. um, when it came to the other side of the garden. Right. Mayor, I like that idea. Okay. Well, I, mean, I know there's a lot of people living downtown that have trouble with that idea because there's noise pollution, so it's tough on all sides. But when I drive by sites that are closed and there's no work being done and the traffic is stopped, I can't tell you how annoyed that makes me. Oh, you and me both. <sighs> Listen, at the end of the day, the moral of the story is don't move for the next three years. And you should be fine in the city of Toronto. It's 7.01. Not kidding. Move to Pickering. Move to Pickering. <laughs> You're watching. <laughs> Go eat. Pickering, Pickering. Oh, Pickering. It's 701.